Congratulations on fully completing the Blender Basics. I hope you feel more comfortable navigating in 3D space and have a better understanding of what Blender is capable of. Even if you've never used a 3D software package until now, it may all still feel a little bit abstract because it's one thing to know what a tool does and another to know how to use it effectively to create what you want. Beyond this course, we have several courses that will help you focus on key areas. One such course is Press Start, which will put these new skills to the test as you create this gaming console. That course is completely free, and you can find it on CG Cookie in the links below. Now, if you do decide to join CG Cookie as a paid member, this means you'll have access to all of our course library. Where to go from there? Well, I would really recommend tackling the Core Fundamentals series. Now, you could go through all nine courses, and they cover a range of topics. Or you can just take the ones in which you have a keener interest. Our lineup of instructors have years of experience in their chosen speciality and know how to apply those skills in a Blender environment. After that, we have plenty of project-based courses that range from beginner to advanced, and our site will help you keep track of your progress along the way. How you learn Blender really depends on what your goals are. Are you doing it for fun? Or are you trying to create something specific? Or are you trying to get a job as quickly as possible? Are you in the position to upgrade your hardware? Or do you want to know if Blender will run on what you already have at hand? Are you likely to want to sculpt or draw? In which case, what options are there when it comes to drawing tablets or pen displays? Now, Blender.org has an up-to-date list of specifications you should consider for hardware. Take the time to compare your system to the minimum as well as the recommended requirements. Now, if you are considering to build your own system, I've written a couple of detailed articles on the subject, and that should help you focus on the most important hardware to consider. And if you'd like to know what drawing peripherals work best for sculpting and drawing in Blender, I've also done some road tests with various products to help you decide on what a good option for your setup might be. Blender can also be expanded on with a range of add-ons. You can already search the repositories in your preferences for freely available ones, or you can take a look at several paid options via something like Superhive. Some can be real time savers, allowing you to fast track repetitive tasks but always be aware that an add-on will not do the job for you, and you have to have some knowledge in the area of the tasks that they are helping you with. You might have come to this course because you've seen the rapid acceptance and popularity of Blender in various fields where 3D software is used. If you're more of a hobbyist, it really doesn't matter what you learn on. Most 3D fundamentals are universal across different software. Career-wise, Blender is definitely becoming more accepted at all levels of production. Just take a look at some of the titles released in the past few years. Big movies like Flow and NextGen were created largely using a Blender pipeline. Software like Substance, Houdini, ZBrush, Painter are all popular tools and are often used in conjunction with Blender, but even then, Using Blender as a tool to learn the concepts is still beneficial, and some knowledge of materials, lighting, or animation fundamentals can go a long way in troubleshooting specific issues when jumping between software. Most of all, I hope you found this course helpful. All the links to resources, articles, or courses that I've mentioned can be found in the description below. I'd like to give a special thanks to Omar Dominic for creating the awesome animations that you saw at the beginning of each lesson. If you're watching this on cgcookie.com, why not take a moment to leave some feedback? You can leave a rating or review. You can leave a comment or question on any of the lessons that you've seen. My name is Paul Kajeji with cgcookie.com, 
and thank you for watching The Blender Basics.